Hi, it's Derek Sloan, Member of Parliament for Hastings, Lennox and Addington. I'm here actually in southern Alberta. I've been here for a couple of weeks doing some tours to promote issues that I think will make Canada uh, the best country in the world. As you may have heard, I've announced I'm starting a new party. This is because I believe the current parties that represent Canada are corrupt and uh, need more than a reformation. We need to start uh, new from the drawing board. And uh, as we've seen in our riding and elsewhere, anyone who doesn't do exactly what their leader says, whether that's Justin Trudeau, Aaron O'Toole, or whoever else, gets kicked out of the party. The, the, the boundaries on an individual MP are stifling. They're unable to represent their local constituents. Look at what I've been able to accomplish uh, being free from the party structure over the last six months. I was able to do, do two press conferences uh, on Parliament Hill, both of which were the, were the top 10 most watched CPAC videos of all time. My medical whistleblower video became the most watched CPAC video of all time in two days. That's more than any Justin Trudeau press conference, any Aaron O'Toole press conference. We got 650,000 views in a few weeks before YouTube yanked it down because they didn't like the content. This was doctors, two professors, and YouTube is censoring a official parliamentary function. That's the world that we live in. It is frightening, but I believe that MPs need to be able to stand up for their constituents. The issues facing our riding, yes, are, are, are in some ways unique, but many of the issues are the same facing the entire country. We're seeing these draconian lockdowns, which have been way more harmful than they have helpful. And I just want to point out to you a few facts. You saw that I posted on my page a few months ago the study from the professor out of Simon Fraser University, where he estimated that lockdowns were 282 times more harmful than they were helpful. I just saw Statistics Canada data a few days ago where they said that five, more than 5,500 people uh, under the age of 65 died uh, than usual in, this, uh, in, in the period of March 2020 to April 2021. And it wasn't COVID-19, folks. 1,380 people died because of COVID-19 under the age of 65. 5,500 people died from, uh, you, you know, beyond that of other things. Okay, we're talking, you know, suicides, overdoses. Uh, opioid overdoses are up by 75%. Folks, we killed more people in our reaction to COVID-19 than COVID-19 itself. It's disgusting. And our other people that are running in this race, Mike Bossio, Shelby Cramp, and others said nothing about lockdowns. They said nothing about ivermectin, a drug that is helping people in other jurisdictions. They've done 25, 30 uh, uh, randomized tests on this drug. I'm speaking to high-level physicians in the United States that have testified before the Senate on this issue, and yet we've heard silence in our own writing. We need someone that's willing to stand up for the people, whatever the cost. These other people are yes men. Mike Bossio is running again because he's a yes man. He got a cushy government job after he lost the last time because that's how the Liberals do it. They know how to play the game. They know how to grease the wheel. They do that every single time. We need someone who's going to start a new movement that stands up for Canada and Canadians. That's why I got kicked out of the Conservative Party. That's why I have six court summons on my desk at home for standing up for small businesses in this country. I'm not going to stop doing it and don't reward these other cowards who stayed at home silently while we went through the biggest crisis we've seen in peacetime in this country. Thank you so much. God bless you and God bless Canada.